everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, don't know why I just sung that, but there you go. Um, so today I am going to do a bit of a review on the MUA matte lipsticks. I have picked up a couple of the shades um, and I will just give you some swatches, some opinions um, and yeah, that's it really. Um, sorry about what's going on in my face, um, if you can even see it with this camera. Um, I In my last video I talked about the, um, <coughs> sorry, the <laughs> face mask that I've been using um, and it has broken me out so I'm not happy with that but you have to kind of get on with it don't you? So um, as I said it's a uh, review on the MUA matte lipsticks. Here's the three that I've picked up. Ooh, fantastic. <laughs> and um, the shades that I picked up are, if you can remember, Wildberry, which is, mm, looks really, really scary, but whenever I swatch it, it'll, you'll see it better. Um, Scarlet Siren, which I'm wearing today, and oh, Pouty Pink. I keep calling it Pink Pout. Sorry, it sticks, which is really annoying. Um, whenever I first got this, I couldn't turn it up, and there's even bite marks on it. Yeah, bite mark, where I tried to like undo it um but finally uh i got matthew to do it for me so um yes i was able to turn it up so well as well the ends well so yeah so the colors themselves um sorry if this is a bit wonky i'm trying to perch it on something and um, the colors themselves the first one that i mentioned there was the wild berry um it does look really scary in the bullet um but whenever you swatch it let me just give it a wee swatch for you Whenever you swatch it, it's actually a really, really lovely rich berry tone to it. There, you can see that. Um, it is a matte formula, like the rest of them. This one is quite sheer, actually, um, but you can build it up uh, to a nice colour. I've only worn it once, um, and it did last quite well. Um, because it's that matte finish, it doesn't tend to like slide or slip off your lips. Um, so yeah, it's a good one. I mean, these are all one pound, so um, my kind of expectations, if you like, for the wearing and longevity of them aren't exactly as they would be with say like a Mac lipstick or a Lancome lipstick or whatever. But yeah, um, it wore really well. So the next one is my favorite of the three. Mwah. It's <laughs> Scarlet Siren. It's actually probably one of my favourite lipsticks now. It is a bright but a kind of deepish tone red as well, if that makes any sense. Um, it is obviously, as I said, it's matte, so I feel that that makes it a bit more wearable during the day. Um, I was a bit scared of red lipstick um, before because I'm more of a pink kind of girl, um, but I really, really like this one. Doesn't make my teeth look yellow as far as I can see um, so that's always a plus um, so yeah really like that one too um, must say as well they don't like really drag your lips obviously with the wild berry you have to go over them a few times for it to actually look opaque enough to wear or my opinion opaque enough to wear maybe if you like that sheer look you can obviously go for it um, but I like it quite opaque um, so yeah, so that's why I go over it a few times. It didn't really drag my lips, so that's really good. So the last one that I have is the Pouty Pink. Why can I not remember that name? Like seriously. <laughs> and this one is a real baby pink colour. Um, it's kind of got like a wee bit of a peachy tone. Um. Oh, and I didn't swatch the Scarlet Siren because you can see it on my lips. Um, yeah, so, sorry, back to this. 
Um, so it's got a slight peachy tone. It's it's like a muted baby pink. Um, let me do a swatch above the berry. Now, to me, this one is very sheer. Now that was two um swipes across. Um, and it's not my favourite out of the three. I have to say. Um, I mean, it is a nice colour, and I think if you are younger, it would probably suit you. Um, uh, but my old twenty five year old face. <laughs> Um, it just doesn't look right in me. I mean, it is a nice colour. Um, as I said, I like pink lipstick, but I think this is a bit light for me. Um, and a bit Barbie-ish, if you like, um, for me. So, um, I don't tend to reach for it first, um, in my lipsticks at all. I mean, it might be good for if you're going for that look, which I'm not. Um, but yeah, it's not my favourite out of the two, or out of the three, sorry. Um, so the other two colours I didn't pick up because one of them was peach um, and I thought well a matte peach on my lips I don't think it would go on my skin tone and I have a peach um, in the normal range, the MUA normal range um, so I didn't bother with that and the other one was nude and it looked like a really beige nude um, so I was I just don't think it will complement my skin tone at all. Um, I just want to point out as well that with all MUA lipsticks, um, there's like a wee pot on the bottom. It's like a wee bonus. <laughs> so if you, so you can always swatch from that as well. I never thought about that, but anyway. So if you run out, obviously you've got extra. Or if you want to preserve for whatever reason, you can use this first. Um, the packaging is different to the normal range in that it's white um, and the other one's black and I quite like the packaging. I mean it's a one pound lipstick. What do you want for one pound? Um, so it's simple, it's compact so it's, I mean I'm happy enough with that. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts. Um, overall just um, the colour range, I mean they've got, what's that, five shades? Um, so yeah, so there's something there for everyone. The formulation itself, it's not drying, it doesn't drag, it doesn't like stick to your dry lips or anything. Um, if you have dry lips, I do. Um, it is, as I said, it doesn't drag, it, it wears well. Um, and my favourite one is the Scarlet Siren. So I would say get it a pound bargain. Go for it. Treat yourself. Um, so yeah, I hope you find that helpful. Um, if you want any more information, comment below, please. Um, if you are, um, I can't even speak today. Um, if you like it, subscribe and thumbs up. Um, if you like my nails, OPI something or other, um, give it a thumbs up. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.